This video will survey Pathway Tools microbiome data management capabilities, in particular some of the tools we've developed for helping a scientist decipher metabolic relationships between organisms in a microbial community. I'm going to start out by showing tools we've developed for issuing queries across a set of metagenome assembled genomes, MAGs, from organisms in a microbial community. Now here I've got a number of PGDBs in my startup screen. Now normally in Pathway Tools, you have a single organism selected that all your queries are issued against. But there's a new mode in Pathway Tools where you can define a set of organisms as your query set. To do that, you click here, you say define a new organism set, and then we're going to select in the left pane all the organisms that we want to have in our organism set. And in particular, we're going to select the eight organisms in the altered Shadler flora. We'll give that organism set a new name, ASF, and we'll create the organism set, and we'll say OK. That's our current selection. And Pathway Tools now opens all those databases. And so these are the organisms that we just selected, and they'll be the subjects now of any search that we run. First search I'm going to do is to search across all these organisms for which organisms have the compound spermidine. And so we see that four of the eight organisms contain that metabolite. One of the organism, for one of the organisms, there are two reactions involving one metabolic pathway. For the other three organisms, there's one reaction each involving zero pathways. And if we click on that organism, on that on spermidine for that organism, we'll see the reactions and the pathway that it's in. Notice one of the reactions is a generic reaction not involving exactly spermidine. Uh, that's why only two reactions were listed previously. Now let's go back we can also do a protein name search, so I can search for pyruvate kinase across all these organisms, and we can see that most of the organisms have pyruvate kinase. Uh, and for, in this in this smart table, it's showing us the the protein, the gene coding for it, accession number, which organism it's in, the length of the gene, and then the surrounding genome neighborhood. We can also search for pathways. So I'm going to do a substring search for pathways. I'm going to search for uh, tryptophan biosynthesis, see which organisms have that. We see uh, three organisms have tryptophan biosynthesis listed here. So I can click on one of them to see the pathway in, in just that organism. And then I can ask for a species comparison uh, across, I'm going to select all the ASF organisms. And we got a table summarizing um, which organisms the pathway is present in. It's actually present in this one, but not present in this one, even though two of the enzymes are present. It, the full pathway was not predicted as present because there was too little evidence. And we see the operon organization as well in each of the organisms containing it. Let's do another comparison now between organisms in, in, the, in this community. Let's actually click on one of the organisms to select that as our current organism. Let's show its metabolic network. And let's now do a species comparison of that metabolic network we're going to do the comparison with this lactobacillus species. And now everything highlighted in red is common between the two organisms, and the pathways still in blue are present only in this clostridium and not in the second organism that I selected. Another thing we can do is we can build a community cellular overview diagram consisting of uh, metabolic networks for several organisms in the community. In this case, we're seeing six of the organisms uh, with their entire metabolic networks present. And one of the analyses we can do here is to do a species comparison 
where we highlight either the reactions that are common to all the organisms or the reactions or pathways that are unique to one organism. So here in red, we're seeing all the pathways that are unique to each organism. Now the final tool we're gonna to look at is a comparative pathway analysis between all the organisms in this community. And we invoke this, although this looks like the BioPsych website, this is our own local, local pathway tools web server. We're gonna go under the comparative analysis menu and we're gonna select a pathway analysis. And for the organisms, we have all of the eight altered Shadler flora organisms selected as our organisms, and we're gonna submit that query. And now we get a pathway comparative analysis result where what we're seeing are analyses across the, the columns in this output table are all of the organisms, and the, the rows in this table are different classes of metabolic pathways. So in this first row, it summarizes the number of biosynthetic pathways present in each organism. And then the subsequent rows break down the number of subtypes of biosynthetic pathways, amino acid biosynthesis, tRNA charging, aromatic compound biosynthesis, etc. And then here are all the utilization pathways, uh, energy metabolism pathways, etc. Then we get total pathway counts across all the different organisms. And if we want more detail on any of these rows, we simply click over here. And here, for example, we've I clicked on the amino acid biosynthesis. And so I get a summary, again, across all the different organisms of specific individual amino acid biosynthetic pathways present in those organisms. And here I've clicked on the cofactor biosynthesis and we get a summary of all the cofactor biosynthesis pathways present in each organism.